What's going on guys, it's your boy j -Ho, bringing you a brand new video. So today we got another Zer Day, which means we're going to check out what he has for us this weekend. February 13th, Friday the 13th. So here we go, Zer's back for the weekend. He's going to be down here in the lounge area of the hangar where all these dudes hang out and do their thing, whatever they do. And so here he is in the corner, and let's see what he got. Speak with me. So here we go. Here's his inventory for the weekend for the Titan. He has the Helm of Inmost Light helmet. Uh, it has strength on it, reduced melee cooldown when you pick up an orb, provides death from above and headstrong for Fist of Havoc, and increased melee attack speed. Uh, this helmet is mainly for strikers and I guess for PvP kind of. Yeah, pretty much for PvP because you got your Fist of Havoc stuff going on there. But in my opinion and in other people's opinions, this one is not that good of a exotic armor for your Titan. So if you need it to get to 32 or something like that, then you can go ahead and buy it. But if not, you can go ahead and pass. For the Hunter, he has the Crest of Alpha Loopy. It's one of those uh, revive teammates faster ones, spawn more orbs. Carry more ammo for special weapons and hand cannons. Pretty good chest armor, not bad. Uh, really good for like skirmish, 3v3 game modes, or sometimes in strikes, it's really uh, good and necessary. And also spawning more orbs can be pretty good. Um, give your teammates their supers faster and stuff like that. And then for the Warlock, we have the Light Beyond Nemesis Helmet. Revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs, just like the Alpha Loopy. Uh, increase melee attack speed and replenish health when you pick up an orb. So this one is probably, I guess, the best one out of the three for the weekend. Just because it has use in quotas and hard mode uh, that you can replenish health when you pick up an orb. So in that sense, it also helps you get to 32 since it's a helmet and it's easier to get the other pieces of gear uh, over the helmet per se uh, if you play normal mode or whatnot. But anyways, this is really good. Helps you heal um, through orbs when you play Crota on hard mode. And also can be good in those situations just like the Alpha Loopy in 3v3 game modes. Then for the weapon for the weekend, he has the Ice Breaker once again. Ice Breaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to others nearby. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. And also, it doesn't say this but it doesn't reload because it regenerates ammo on its own. So a uh, really good weapon. He has sold this a couple times in the past um, and he actually sold it a few weeks ago. I don't know how many weeks ago exactly but when he did sell it those few weeks ago everyone purchased this and so if you did miss out on that week go ahead and purchase your icebreaker it is a really good gun it's probably one of the best pve guns in the game besides like Galhorn or Yallerhorn and um, I highly recommend this gun everyone should have this gun it's very useful in a lot of situations so go pick it up if you don't have it and then he doesn't have an engram this weekend which is a bummer cuz I like opening up those engrams and seeing what I can get out of them uh, so that's unfortunate, but for the upgrades, he has Knucklehead Radar and also Crest of Alpha Loopy, which has a higher stat than this one. So it's up to you if you want to pay 13 or instead pay a Shard and 7000 Glimmer. You can go ahead and do that instead. Um, for the Titan, he has Helm of Inmost Light and Alpha Loopy for the Titan. Uh, he's also selling it, so again, this one has a higher stat, so up to you if you want to upgrade instead or just buy a new one and then for the warlock he has apotheosis veil and sunbreakers apotheosis veil i really like this i use this for my warlock in crotazan because of the healing ability and when i can also activate my super to heal me back to full health as well so i really like apotheosis veil um so in my opinion i like it over the nemesis uh because i do have both of them and i rather use this in the crota fight but this one doesn't have too high of a discipline, so that's not that good. But if you need to upgrade your Veil, I recommend this one for the Crota on hard mode. For the weapons, he has Last Word, Icebreaker, Patience in Time, Super Good Advice, Gallahorn, and The Truth. So uh, he's upgrading Icebreaker, 
but I would just say to pay 17 strange coins instead because that's obviously a lot cheaper than paying all that glimmer and the shard and stuff. And then, um, so Yaller Horn is probably your main go to upgrade if you didn't do it yet. Uh, he's offered it many, many times though, so you should have an upgraded Yaller Horn at this point in time. Um, the other ones I would recommend is Patience in Time and Last Word. Because last word super fun to use in Crucible. And then uh, Truth and then this one which is not that good of a gun. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Zer weekend. Hopefully Zer brings some good stuff in the upcoming weeks. He also doesn't have the heavy ammo synthesis which I'm kind of disappointed about. And a lot of people are pretty disappointed about it too. So hopefully uh, when they maybe fix the heavy ammo glitch that they keep talking about in their weekly updates. Uh, Zer will finally bring back the heavy ammo synthesis to sell. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching once again. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.